Good day, tennis fans, and welcome to Tennis Now's News Update show. This weekend, Joe Wilfried Sanga triumphed over Thomas Burdich to take the title in Marseille. David Ferrer defeated Stan Wawrinka to take Buenos Aires. Kimi Shikori and Marina Irakovic won their first titles of the year in Memphis. Petra Kvitova beat Sarah Irani in Dubai. And Yelena Yankovic won her first title since 2010 in Bogata. This week, Novak Djokovic is in action in Dubai in his first tournament since the Australian Open. Djokovic is undefeated this year and will be looking to take the title from Roger Federer. Meanwhile, in Acapulco, the number two seed, Rafa Nadal, tries to take the title from the top seed and defending champion, David Ferrer. Despite wanting to play less events this year, Federer has done his math and believes he can unseat Djokovic again, despite a deficit of more than 3,000 ranking points. It's definitely realistic if I'm playing great, but I really need to play absolutely great. While Federer is very optimistic, the climb will be a very difficult challenge. The sports agency IMG has begun preparations to sell their company. The agency has recently taken hits after both Federer and Nadal left the company. But still representing Djokovic and Maria Sharapova, IMG is okay. If IMG goes up for sale, it's estimated to go for more than $2 billion. And just before the BNP Paribas Open, Indian Wells has scheduled a prize money increase. The increase will target the early rounds with no change at all to the finals, the finalists and the winners. The increase should target the early rounds, with the first and second round prize money increasing over 40%. That's it for us. Remember to check us out at TennisNow.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.